Welcome back to Guitar Lesson Insider. You're in the electric guitar section. And this lesson will be about reading tab. This is going to be an audible video explanation instead of something you have to read on the computer screen. So let's check it out. I'm going to get closer so you can see what my fingers are doing. So tab, it has six lines. One for each string. The lowest line stands for the lowest string. Not the physical lowest, but the lowest in tone, the E string. So this will be the lowest string and the lowest line. And then this will be the next lowest and so forth. So we'll have the E string, A, D, G, B, and E. And then if we start at the bottom on the tab, we have E, A, D, G, B, E. So now that we know what line is for what string, we can see what uh, number is for what fret. So if we play the E string open, that would be a zero on tab. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So the first note says three on the lowest string, the lowest in tone, not the physical lowest. So that would be this string, and then the three means the third fret. So zero, one, two, third fret. So that'll be our first note of the example. Next note is a five, and it's on the same line. So we just move it up two frets. One, two, and that's the fifth fret. So first note is on the third fret. The second note is on the fifth fret. First note's on the third fret, second note's on the fifth fret. And then the next two notes are on the next string up, the A string. And it has a two and a five, so that would be the second fret and the fifth fret. Open one, two. That'd be the two on the second fret, and then the five would be up here again, where the dot is. The dot stands for, this one is the fifth fret, and this dot stands for the third fret. So we have two, and then five. So if we just play the first half of that, it'll sound like this. And then there's a little slash in between the third and fifth notes, or the third and fourth, sorry. And that means instead of taking your fingers and going like this, you just take one finger and go. But this is just kind of an example of tablature. You don't have to do the little slide thing just yet. But just make sure you know how to read it. So that first, the first section, the first measure, is going to sound and look like this. And then when you have numbers stacked on top of each other, it means you play them all at the same time. So that would be a chord. The second measure has three, two, zero, all on top of each other. So that means we're going to play the A string on the third fret, the D string on the second fret, and then the G string open. But we're going to play them all at the same time. So it'll sound like this. So that would be what a chord looks like. Sometimes the numbers will change and that'll make your fingers look different. And there's also X's. The X's mean just to hold your hand over the strings and then just hit the strings like that and it'll make that sound I'm not fretting anything, I'm just holding my strings on it like that, you could squeeze the neck like that but just keep your hands and mute the strings so they don't vibrate
and then you have these kind of swooping lines between notes and that means you don't pluck both of them you just play the first note and then put your finger on the next note so that's called a hammer on when you do it backwards it's called a pull off and when you you kinda have to smash your finger on the fretboard pretty hard so if we played all those together this is all those notes together in in time and in order this is kinda what it would sound like you don't have to worry about getting this down just yet this is just to show you what tab looks like and kinda how to read it and then we're gonna talk about notes, rhythms, scales, chords, just all kinds of stuff. So this is kinda just so you can see what it sounds like and hear it and you don't have to worry about learning this down pat right now. But anyways, this is how it goes. Here it is again. So in tab, there's a lot of different things. Um, there's a lot of lines and numbers, and you can learn scales, you can learn chords, basically everything through tab. But the one downfall is you can't show what type of rhythms there are. So you don't know if a song's gonna go, or if a song's just gonna go. You know, you can't tell what rhythm and the, the beat that it's gonna have. You can just tell what notes it has and what chords it has. So, in order to kind of cope with that and the and and how easy tab is to learn, um, Guitar Lesson Insider is going to use both of them. We're going to have notation, so you can see the rhythms and the lengths of the notes, and then we're going to have tab at the bottom, so it's pretty easy to to read. But that doesn't mean you can't skip learning what notes are where on the fretboard. Fretboard. So make sure you know your notes on the fretboard as well. You also need to know what measures are. Measures are a section of music that is used to kind of organize it and to make things make more sense. So with that being said, you also need to know what time signatures are. So it says 4-4 four, four at the beginning up in the notation part, and that means there's going to be four beats per measure. So one measure will be and then we'll go to a new one. So, in short, that means there's going to be four notes per measure. Four quarter notes. It's, it's kind of complicated at first. It's going to seem like a lot of information. But if you can just follow through each lesson and make sure you're looking over them and you know what everything is in the lessons, then you shouldn't have much of a problem learning all of the material in a, in a short amount of time. Just make sure to keep with it and you're practicing daily. Um, just keep up on it and like anything else, it's not going to happen overnight. And just stick with it and you'll get through it and you'll be really good. So with that said, if you have any questions, you can check out the Guitar Lesson Insider forums or you can just email one of the members. There's a lot of different resources on the site you can use to get information and answer your questions. So use it.